William and Mary is the second oldest institution of higher education in the United States, right behind Harvard. We received our Royal Charter in 1693, and we are very proud of our history. But much more important than our past, William and Mary remains committed to excellence in research and teaching in the 21st century. When you graduate from William and Mary, you will be able to take today's problems and turn them into opportunities. The Flex MBA program is designed specifically for you, the working professional. We are very flexible on time to degree. If you choose to go at the most common pace of two classes per semester, which means two evenings in class per week, you'll finish your degree in three years. But you can accelerate your degree, you can slow down, you can take a semester off, you make your MBA fit your schedule. Typically, our Flex MBA classes are all held at our William and Mary Peninsula Center in Newport News in the evening, in person from 7 to 9.50 p.m. Our faculty have done an incredible COVID-19 pivot. I don't think they have missed a beat. This semester, some of our faculty are teaching virtually and some of our faculty are teaching in a blended format, but we will be back completely in person, 100%, just as soon as it is safe to do so. And another uh, aspect of our Flex MBA program that is so important for busy working professionals is the academic advising and student services support that we offer to keep you on track. The Flex MBA program is an extraordinary value in the William and Mary MBA portfolio. The Flex MBA students earn the same William and Mary MBA degree that our full-time MBA students earn with the same award-winning faculty, but they actually pay about 70% of the cost of tuition because they are able to take advantage of William and Mary's part-time tuition rates. Our Flex MBA students are smart, they are motivated, they're ambitious, and they are truly a great deal of fun. That They're just really a wonderful group. We have over 200 Flex MBA students at any given time. Uh, you see our gender break down there. And actually in the last uh, couple of intakes, we have been 50% or higher women. So we're real happy with that uh, breakdown. Our average age uh, at the start of the program is 30, but there's a very wide range there. We require two years of professional experience before you begin the program, but the average for the entering student is eight. And that really speaks to the level of conversation in the classroom. And again, that years of experience, there's a very broad range there. Uh, our average undergraduate GPA is 3.2, and we are very proud of our military and our veteran students. This is a sampling of where our Flex MBA students work. It is really advantageous to earn your MBA as a working professional. Number one, you are earning while you're learning and your employer may well offer educational assistance. So uh, please do be sure to check with your employer what sort of benefits they may have on that front. Uh, secondly, your ROI is immediate. You can literally take what you learn in class one evening and apply it the very next day at work. Our Flex MBA students come from a variety of industries and functional areas and that means they bring real diversity of experience and perspective uh, and problem solving and solution finding into the classroom, whatever the topic of discussion is. So you will learn a great deal from your fellow students. That's really an important part of the educational experience in an MBA for working professionals. Um, and last, um, I, I might not say this to our faculty, but um, some people would argue that the networking is as important as the curriculum in an MBA program. And in the Flex MBA program, you are networking with exactly who you want to be connecting with. 
upwardly mobile professionals in all the big companies in the area. These, these are the connections that will grow your career. The curriculum in the Flex MBA program is taught from the managerial perspective. You will learn how all the core business functions work together to contribute to the mission of the organization. Uh, you'll get analytical skills and tools for decision making. Uh, for example, um, quantitative methods and modeling and simulation are two of our core courses. The big picture is really important. Uh, so uh, our curriculum includes economics and our core capstone course, global competitive strategy for the macro perspective. And everything in business revolves around people. People start businesses, people run businesses, People's, people are on your team that uh, you are a part of or that you lead. So our leadership, communication, and interpersonal skills that are part of our curriculum are really critical to your development as a leader and as a manager. And uh, an MBA is a strategy degree. So overall, our curriculum will teach you how to think about business strategically. We offer two concentrations, uh, business analytics, which as you know, is a very hot topic right now, uh, and management of engineering and technology development. These are both very popular with our Flex MBA students, but they're optional. You may use your electives to earn a concentration, or if you prefer, you may use your electives to tailor your degree in the way that you would like. One of our really extraordinary resources outside the classroom is our executive partners. This is a group of about 140 retired and semi-retired executives, many of them from the C-suite. They are very active in the Mason School of Business and they love giving back and growing the next generation of business leaders. Our executive partners are available to our Flex MBA students on demand for coaching and mentoring. And I always strongly recommend to our Flex MBA students that they reach out to at least one new executive partner every semester. And of course, keep those relationships going uh, for coaching and mentoring really at the executive level and networking, of course, as well. Our Graduate Career Management Center is available to you from day one uh, for career guidance, for resume review, for mock interviews with our executive partners and more. So your education is truly an investment in yourself. When you are considering whether or not to make an investment, of course, you look at what the return on investment is. The ROI in the Flex MBA program is immediate, but it's also career long. Your MBA will not just take your career to the next level, it will increase the entire trajectory of your career. And as you're sitting on your yacht, as Dean White said, uh, uh, in, in 30 years, you, you'll be oh so glad that you decided to go ahead and start your MBA. <laughs> um, our 2020-2021 tuition is $875 per credit hour for in-state students. And uh, in today's dollars, that comes out to, with 54 credit hours in the Flex MBA program, well south of $50,000 for a world-class MBA from a public Ivy University. This is truly an investment that you wanna make in yourself. And the really good news is we are now no longer requiring the GMAT or GRE. We have found that MBA math is an excellent online tool to ensure quantitative preparation for our incoming students, some of whom have more quantitative backgrounds and some of whom have less. Uh, MBA math is self-paced. The website estimates 20 to 40 hours to complete. There are five teaching and assessment modules in the areas of spreadsheets, finance, accounting, statistics, and economics. MBA math is actually not re required as part of the application, but rather if you are admitted to the Flex MBA program, you must complete MBA math 
by orientation, which is on January 16th. And William & Mary does offer a discount code for MBA Math, so be sure you check with a staff member uh, before you start that. It will reduce the price from $149 to $120. So how do you apply to the William & Mary Flex MBA program? The time is now. Uh, our spring 2021 cohort will begin classes on January 25th and our round two application deadline is November 1. And you are in an excellent time for that because there's no GMAT or GRE to prepare for. The three components of the application are the application itself, which is online, two professional recommendations, and all of your transcripts. These can be unofficial for purposes of the application and admission decision, but we need your official transcripts before you begin. Once your application is complete, we will schedule an admissions interview. And uh, when that is finished, we'll forward your application to our admissions committee. And typically we can expect a decision within two to three weeks. There is a $100 application fee, but we waive that with admissions event attendance. So uh, all of you can consider yourselves officially waived of the $100 application fee. So there is absolutely nothing standing in your way of starting your application to the William & Mary Flex MBA program as soon as this virtual open house is over. And uh, as we said, MBA math is not actually a part of the application, but it must be completed before orientation. Branding is all about differentiation. So when you earn your MBA at William & Mary, the William & Mary brand becomes part of your brand. So how will the William & Mary brand differentiate you? Reputation and name recognition, award-winning faculty, top caliber professional network, and not just in the Flex MBA program, but also in the Mason School of Business, current students and alumni, and all the William & Mary alumni out there. Global business perspective, including international trips as electives, executive coaching and mentoring from our executive partners, career services, and overall, as in everything we do at William & Mary, a standard of excellence. And now I'd like to bring our student ambassadors into the conversation. Uh, Ju and Doug, we really appreciate you joining us to give the perspective that only you can give as current uh, Flex MBA students. I have some questions that I'd like to throw out to you all. And I know everyone really wants to hear uh, your perspective on these. So the, the first thing I would like to ask you um, is if you can share with us your title and your organization, and then why you decided to earn an MBA. Ju, would you like to start? Sure. Hi, my name is Ju Yang Longo, and I currently work at Smithfield Foods um, as an IT financial analyst. And it was a recent move three months ago. I, in the past, I used to work at Canon, Virginia, as an, a financial analyst for four years as well. And during that time, the company was offering tuition assi uh, assistance. And I was looking for an opportunity to actually enhance my education. And I came across a very good opportunity being employed at Canon at the same time while I was able to earn such a prestige school MBA degree. and. It was just a perfect time for me. So I started, that's how I got into doing my MBA. I wanted to be different, like you said, and I wanted to also be really good at what I do. So to do that, I wanted to go to a school that can prove that what I do is really great. Wow, what a great Should answer I hand it to you, and, and congratulations on your new position. You know, I, I, 
I always connect on LinkedIn with all of our incoming students because, uh, of course, I want to be connected with you all, but I love seeing the career progression of all of our students. And I, I, I every time I go on LinkedIn, uh, <laughs> every time I go on LinkedIn, I see I see students talking about new opportunities that they've gotten. So fantastic. Um, Doug, what about you? Your your uh, your title, your organization, and why you decided to earn an MBA? Uh, thank you. Hi, so Doug Andrade here. Uh, I'm in the Navy, active duty, Lieutenant Commander uh, with the VAW 120 here in Norfolk. Um, so I'm an aviator by trade, and that has been my career from the start out right out of college. Um, so. For me, the MBA was really, uh, it, I wanted to you know, continue my education and just uh, broaden my horizons beyond what the military world is to me. I went to Naval Academy, so I had a military education all the way through. Um, so I think for within, that was like my, my biggest spark to continue my education. I just wanted to kind of go beyond the military, get some other exposure, interact with civilians in an educational setting. So. I had that piece and then I also had the reality where eventually I had to leave the military so I want to set myself up, um, set myself up some, for other opportunities and uh, <clears throat> being here in Norfolk, William Mary was uh, a very easy choice and it was I think really fitting. I personally wanted a, uh, an experience that was in person where I could interact with professors and students, partly being because I wanted to actually get you know outside the military a little bit and experience you know the civilian world, um, and also is pro the proximity. So the Peninsula Center, it's about a for me, it's about 20 minute drive from Norfolk Naval Station. So that was a uh, extremely convenient, and it fit the mold perfectly for what I was trying to achieve. Fantastic! Thank you for your service, Doug, uh, and um, and great reasons. You know, I I, I love. Um, I love the military civilian bridge. Um, I love the make yourself stand out even further. Uh, those are both such excellent reasons to, to earn an MBA. Um, and then I uh, I heard you talk about um, about the reputation of the school, and I heard Doug talk about uh, the location. Um, but can you all elaborate a little bit on why the William and Mary Flex MBA program? Doug, you want to go ahead and, and take that first? Yeah. Um, so, like you said, the location and the in person interaction, um, that's what I was really seeking. Uh, the brand was huge, too. Um, I mean, who doesn't know William and Mary? I think uh, it's right you know, in our backyard. So, it's a great opportunity. Um, so, you got that brand piece, which is very attractive. And uh, lastly, it's um, the Dean kind of mentioned this, but in my opinion, there's never a good time. If you're trying to wait for the right time, um, I've learned this in my career. They're like, hey, this is a good time for a meeting. I'm like, no, it's not. But you know what? If we continue to wait, we're, it's, it, there's never a good time. And so I kind of learned that. I think uh, some of my correspondence with Amy when I started to apply just hit me like, I just got to do it. I just got to jump in and do it. and. Uh, I know all my education, William Mary fit, fit the bill, and now there's no better time except for now. So that's pretty much why. Fantastic. Thank you, Doug. June, what about you? I'm used to moving down to Virginia. I used to live in Watertown, New York, and my, my boss, who was a controller at the time, and he used to serve in Newport News area it as a Navy. And he was the one who actually brought up William and Mary. If you ever move down to Virginia, please go ahead and seek out the school because it's one of a kind. It's a very prestige school and you will not regret. One of the things that he regretted was not doing the school when he had a chance. So that's the first, ex ex first um, glance of William and Mary for me at the time. And that triggered me to research about William and Mary and truly is this really a strong school that everybody is going to notice and how what the faculty rates are and how you know what kind of quality of education am I going to get 
And after a very specific research, I found out William and Mary was the best choice for me because it was fitting all the categories, all the check boxes that I was looking for. Close location, prestige, quality education, great faculty, and most of all, great student cohorts that you're going to be mixed with because these are the people not just you're going to study with, they're actually a lifetime people who you're going to probably meet back at work or you're going to actually mingle and someday you're going to work with or work for. It was such a good decision for me and I wish everybody would consider that opportunity. Fantastic. I, you know, I, I don't even know why why our our staff talks at, at these things. Our our students say everything so much better than we could. So thank you, Judith. That's fantastic. Um, okay, now I I think the the uh, the, the evidence of children that we see um, in in your home, um, which is so common in the Flex MBA program, um, makes this. Next question, very relevant, and I'm sure this is true for, for many of our participants. Um, how do you balance work, family, and school? In other words, how do you fit the Flex MBA program into your life? Should I go first? Sure, go. Yeah, that's great, Ju. Yes. Um, so it is not a secret that William and Mary makes you really study, study <laughs> and it is people, I want people to understand when you're doing, getting a very quality education, it's not going to be an easy path. It is going to take time. It's going to take effort and it will need some sacrifice of your family time or your personal lifetime. You will have to put aside a good chunk of time to make this work but also you need a very great support system in your work in your family and also at school you need to have good people around you interact use your interpersonal skill to the most so you can get the best out of it and that is the only way you can balance all three things going at once and it will take it takes effort and it takes time but it's doable that's why I'm already three years in and I'm looking at the end of the tunnel and it's possible. The only thing is you do have to have a good time management and good planning. Please utilize your advisors so you can always communicate what is the best schedule for your next semester. How can you picture your whole year plan so you know what your time allotted for all the work and study is going to be separated out. Those things are very crucial to this balancing work life together. That's great, Jude. Thank you. And you know, I always say we there aren't too many guarantees in life, but one of them is that you will improve your time management skills um, by the time you earn your MBA degree. But you know, that is that is a, such a critical leadership and management um, skill. So I, I almost I almost see that as part of the as an experiential part of of the learning. And I, I'm so glad you brought that up. That's a, an excellent point. What about you, Doug? Yeah, I mean, there's no hiding the fact that it's very challenging. Um, but I think if you're on this Zoom meet, then you understand that I think you're seeking that to a degree. So um, that with that in mind, I think Understanding how to set expectations was pretty key for me. When I started this program, I was single um, and now I'm married. So my life changed dramatically within the span of this program. Um, so for me, learning how to manage my own time and then how to manage my time, you know, with my family and with work and you know, just my own personal passions um, is definitely challenging. There's no doubt about that. But uh, learning how to manage those expectations and um, and then adjust as you move on. I think those are key. So this past week, for example, I told my wife, like, look, last week I did not study enough. So this week I have to put more effort into uh, class, meaning more late nights. And that's just the reality of what, you know, my commitment to the program is. Um, so you have to adjust that, set those expectations, communicate, 
constantly. You, you just can't expect to like set calendar, you know, events or whatever, however you plan your time out and just stick to them constantly. Cause this is, it's a flex MBA program. So you gotta be flexible. You gotta just adjust to it. And for me, the expectation management was big. I would also add um, professors in the program are top notch. Uh, they've been so phenomenal. And they also, they recognize that our lives are busy and we are not full-time students. So don't be shy to, you know, approach the professors and tell them what's going on in your life. You know, I have work challenges, I have family challenges, I got a trip, whatever it may be, and they'll work with you. Um, I think for me, I've had the experience that they're, my education was in the, their best interest. They, they were looking after me. So um, with that in mind, I think there's a lot of uh, opportunity to succeed in this program. Um, so I, yeah, I have no issues with it. <laughs> it's been it's been a pleasure all the way through. So I'm really glad to be part of the program. Fantastic. I'm, I'm so glad you said that about the faculty as well. They, they so admire and respect our Flex MBA students for for all that you do. And I think managing those expectations and being flexible is, is truly a, a great advice. Um, so as a follow up, um, how much time do you all spend outside of class on school in a typical week if you're taking two classes? You want to follow up, Doug? Yeah. Um... I think on average, I need to spend at least an hour each day of the week. Um, so it's about seven to 9.50 per class. So that's twice a week. So right now I'm taking a class on Tuesday and Thursday nights. Um, typically I'll spend about another hour after that, just studying or going over the material. And then about one hour a week each day night. And then I definitely have to commit about two hours at least per day on the weekends. Um, that kind of depends on, you know, where we're at this semester. As you get closer to test time, obviously that increases. Um, but I will tell you, and I think everyone knows this, you all, everyone's been, uh, been to a college institution. You have to, uh, commit those, like those times throughout the week to study. Cause if you don't, then, uh, you just, you just can't cram this all into, uh, into a single week before your final exam. So. Uh, for me, it's worked about one hour a week, or sorry, one hour a day uh, throughout the weekdays, and then about two per day uh, on the weekends. Okay, great. So, so maybe nine total. Okay. What about you, Ju? For me, in the low scale, eight hours a week, like one hour a day, would be a typical typical um, week. But there are times like projects or homeworks all combined at once or test comes over, then there are times that 20 hours, I think in average, I would spend in a week to go over because it's not just me, it's a group effort. So we have to, sometimes it gets prolonged and then five hours is not enough. So we have to expand on it for the next weekend. So averages from eight to 20. On the good day will be eight, on a high day of Victoria. It's always a range. That's, that's great. When we always get a variety of answers. Um, and I, I would say the average I hear from students is about 10 hours per week. That's, that's the average. And, and of course it varies, uh, uh, from student to student, from class to class and, uh, during times, different times of the semester. Absolutely. Um, so, um, Doug already talked about the faculty. I wanted to, I, I, I had mentioned that the three main groups of people involved in the Flex MBA program are students, our faculty, uh, and, and Ju Yan had talked about the, the fellow students, um, our students, our faculty, and our executive partners. I wonder if uh, Ju and Doug, would you pick one of those groups of people and just talk about your, briefly about your experience with them. would you like to start or okay or Doug? Doug was unmuted so <laughs> <laughs> um, I I have a very good experience with fellow students so my fellow students are the reason why 
at tough times when I had times that I wanted to just take off a semester or prolong this to all the way five years, there were times like you would just want to drop it in, in a life point. And my cohorts, my the classmates were all my strength and they were the one who were pulling me to make sure that I can complete and go on and just encourage like to to make me believe in myself and just keep pushing forward so it was a tremendous work of group effort for me to be where I am today and I really appreciate and I wish everybody to have that great relationship between the cohort and we can all push each other up for reaching the stars together Fabulous, Ju. That's great. Doug, what about you? Would, would you like to um, talk about the, the faculty, the students, or the executive partners? Um, I agree with the students. That's a great uh, aspect of the program. Um, I'll touch on the professors. I, I mentioned that earlier. Um, I do. I guess I, for me, my experience at the Naval Academy, I thought those professors were fantastic. And I got to honestly say the uh, professors at William Mary are incredible. Um, they're, they're impressive and I'm not trying to embellish it or anything. It's, it's a, that's my honest assessment. Um, they know their stuff. And I think there's a level of passion that comes with teaching the Flex MBA students. Cause when you go to class, um, it's late at night, uh, people are usually coming off work. So you might be tired. So everyone's loaded up on caffeine. Um, and professors come in with this energy. And I remember uh, professor Elizabeth Foster, the county, it's accounting like it can be the most boring subject in the world but my gosh i like that class was so animated and we get to 10 o'clock that night i don't know talking about credits and debits and just you know everyone's super excited about it and it's crazy um <laughs> and awesome. you, you just can't be an academic and make things happen that way like you have to be a talented passionate professor um and my experience has been that way for every single class, just about. And they bring different values, different leadership styles and teaching styles, but uh, over by and far, it's been incredible for me. Like I've taken a lot out of this program and what they teach and what they uh, encourage in class discussions. I walk out the door and next morning, I'm already applying the stuff we talked about, whether it's communications class, my Lean Six Sigma classes, um, it's immediate, like, you know, the ROI of this, it's, it's true. I'm, I've been applying everything I learned on a daily basis. So uh, kudos to the professors. Well, and kudos to Doug and Ju, our fabulous student ambassadors. As always, you guys are just so darn impressive and great. Thank you so much. Um, and let's open the floor for questions. And Macy is going to uh, moderate our questions for us. So thank you, Macy, take it away. So Amy, the first question that we have is from Allie and it is, are the global immersions that are required in the executive MBA program also an opportunity to the students in the Flex MBA? Okay, that's a great question. Um, the, the international immersions in the Flex MBA program are not required, they are electives. Now in, um, in March of 2020, unfortunately, we had to cancel uh, that particular international immersion because of COVID-19. Um, but under normal circumstances, we offer them every year and they are um, electives, 1.5 credit hour courses, and students can take, can if they're in the program for three years, they can take it, do up to three trips. And they're absolutely extraordinary learning experiences about how business is done around the world. Um, and it really shows you uh, how all business is global. So they're, they're really wonderful opportunities. And because they're tied to classes, the trips are tied to classes, you can use financial aid for them. So I heartily encourage everyone to go on at least one. Amy, we have to we have to share that you and I went you and I led one a few years ago. Um, we went to Innsbruck and Munich. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and this was unusual. Well, we had some friends in Innsbruck and one of the days we actually hiked up a, a snowy mountain a couple of miles. We get to this 
monastery in the middle of the of the mountain range and there are monks making the meal for us and serving the meal and the wine and we do all of this and you think geez how are we getting down there's a luge run all the way down the mountain they put each student on a sled and you went all the way down the mountain and we had one student who was completely freaked out by that and we had to kind of like walk the student all the way down uh, that's a little unusual for a bit for a global immersion but they're they're fun and you get to meet businesses and i think the coolest part is it's 20 mba students together for a week and you get to know everybody on that and it's it's a fascinating i, I think it's one of the greatest uh, parts of the program Absolutely, Ken. I keep angling for another trip with you. Could you put in a good word for me, please? <laughs> well, I, that last one was canceled. We were going to um, Paris and uh, Munich again, and we were th three days ready to go. It was in March, and that's when COVID struck. And, and suddenly our hosts from Paris were saying, you know, we're closing down. We, If you can get a, a, a ballroom at a hotel, we'll bring all of our employees there to meet you. And then the hotel started to close. So, yeah, just one of those things. But. Yeah, we're going to come back big 2021, time. Back you better believe it. Thank you, Ken. Our next question is from Nigeria. And she asks, is there an MBA residency that is required when entering into the program? There is not a residency period. You, uh, you are in classes two evenings per week. Typically, if you're taking two classes, you're in class two evenings per week. Um, so you can choose an international residency, um, but in the Flexus MBA program, there is not a residency requirement. Thank you, Amy. And our third question is from Erin, and she has a two-part question. Hers is, how many people are accepted into the program and what is the average class size? That's a great question. Um, you know, our, I think you're asking about acceptance rate uh, in the first half of the question. And our admission rate is actually well over 50%, uh, which surprises people sometimes. And that's because we work with our applicants for, we develop relationships with them, um, you know, as, as their considering the MBA and as they're working through their application. And if perhaps uh, they would be a better candidate in a couple of years when they have a, a couple more years of experience, we'll let them know that so that they can work on making themselves the most competitive candidate that they can. Um, so what we're interested in is working with you personally to, to make sure that, that you're as competitive as you can be. Um, and the class sizes, um, are, I'm going to say they're between 30 and 40. Typically the fall class is a little bigger. I don't know why, just because people think of starting school in the fall, I think. Um, but typically between 30 and 40. And then um, our core classes always have more students in them. Electives have fewer students, of course, because we offer more electives than anyone can take. Great questions, Erin. So another question is, if a student must relocate prior to graduating from the Flex MBA program, can they transfer into William & Mary's online program, um, understanding that there is a difference in tuition? That's a great question. And, and when I am the president of William & Mary, the answer will be yes. Um, but right now, um, unfortunately, the answer is no. And that is because um, the on, our online MBA program has an integrated curriculum. Um, and it, it just, it's not apples to apples between the Flex MBA program and the online MBA program. Um, however, um, some of the online MBA classes are actually now available, a limited number are available to our Flex MBA students. So in that capacity, it might be possible. And if you have to, if you're transferred or you get a job offer that's just too good for you to refuse, and you just have a few credits left in the Flex MBA program, you can transfer up to nine credit hours back in. So, um, the important decision is to know as much as anyone can that you'll be here for the entire time if you decide to enroll in the Flex MBA program. But there are limited options to, to, to allow you to complete some, uh, some courses 
um, as transfer credits or online at the end of the program, typically. And Amy, um, I'm going to go ahead and answer the next question, but if you want to add on to it, please do so. James is asking if, if I apply under the Tribe Scholars Program, do I need letters of recommendation? Uh, this is uh, definitely an application question, so I can answer that. Yes, you do still need two professional letters of recommendation. I want to let everybody here know that the they're not so much letters of recommendation. We send out a link to your recommenders and they can fill out a form that is 11 multiple choice questions. They are welcome to add a letter of recommendation if they want to do so. Um, but most recommenders can complete that form within less than two minutes. What the Tribe Scholar Program does is it, it fast forwards you past the actual interview. So once your, admit, once your application is submitted and it's complete, you do not have to complete an interview because we know you're, you're part of the Tribe family already. We can see your, your um, credentials through your application and through your, uh, through your transcript. And we know that you're already gonna be great in the program. Um, so Amy, if you wanna add anything to that, please do so. Thank you. Thank you, Macy. Uh, uh, I, I, I really appreciate you covering that. Um, and just uh, if people aren't familiar with what a Tribe Scholar is, that is a program for people who are William and Mary undergraduate alumni. Um, and uh, they have a very streamlined application process. As Macy mentioned, no interview and with a certain GPA, um, the admission is automatic because again, we know the high quality of our William and Mary undergraduate students, but you still have to go through the, the application process. And Amy, we do not have any more questions in the chat, but I want to open it up to you. If there's frequently asked questions that you want to cover while I invite anybody else with specific questions to enter them in the chat, then I, I'd like to have you do so. Sure, that, that sounds great. We've got a couple of, of, of extra minutes. Those are all excellent questions and, and, and I really appreciate those. Um, one question that we get a lot is, is an uh, undergraduate degree, business degree required? And the answer is definitely no. Um, I'm gonna say 35 to 45% of our students of our applicants have undergraduate business degrees, um, but we actually really welcome a diversity of, of academic and professional backgrounds because we really like the, the variety of perspective that brings into the program. So, so absolutely not. Whatever, um, whatever your undergraduate degree is, um, we would love to have you apply. I have, I have another um, FAQ that I get asked a lot that I'd like to go ahead and throw that out, throw out here. And that is, um, why is two years of professional experience required before students begin the Flex MBA program? Um, and, and the reason is, is it gives students a framework within which to understand what's being discussed in the classroom. It gives them the experience of of applying theory to the sometimes messy real world. Um, and just as importantly, it gives them experience to bring into the classroom themselves um, to contribute to the education of the other students. And, and as we already discussed, that's so very important. So we do have one more question. Um, actually a couple more coming in. So I'll start with the first one. Can we take class classes credits during summer? Yes, absolutely. The Flex MBA program classes are offered year round, spring, summer, and fall. Um, if you take two classes per semester in spring, summer, and fall, that's the pace to finish in three years. Um, the summer's a little bit different in that our, our spring and fall semesters are uh, our semester long classes. In the summer, we have two shorter summer sessions. So the classes are seven weeks long and you attend two evenings per week. That allows you, if you choose, to take half the summer off and still get a class in. 
or if you choose to take two classes in the summer, you're still in class two evenings per week. It's just uh, two shorter summer sessions. Um, and, and yeah, that's a great question. And if you want to take the summer off, you may. And Amy, another question we have from Lacey um, is, might be specific to COVID, but I will ask it. Any advice for someone interested in the fast start option with plans to become degree seeking in the fall? That is a great option that we have, but it is not currently available. Um, our flex fast start option allows uh, students to take uh, a very fast track to application to take up to nine hours of flex MBA classes on a non degree seeking basis. Um, the application is quite short. Um, there are no recommendations required. It's, it's, it's pretty fast. Um, but right now we're not allow the university is not allowing flex fast start classes. We've got that request in um, and hopefully that will be back online very soon. And uh, we are certainly keeping an eye on it and, and uh, we'll be the first people to let you know as soon as the university policy approves. Yeah, Amy, I'll back you on that one. Um, again, the request is in and we're looking forward to revisiting that well in advance of uh, the next month or so. So Lacey, it's great to see you. Excellent question. And we will certainly get right back in touch with you on, on your inquiry. Thank you, Amanda. If Amanda's on it, consider it done. <laughs> so Nigeria has one more question. And she wants to know, does the program host career or networking fairs? That's a great question because it's all about your career. That's for sure. Thanks, Nigeria. Um, so Nigeria, the program itself um, certainly can host networking events. Um, but as far as career events go, that would be handled by our Graduate Career Management Center, um, and they would be the person to, um, to speak with about that. If you follow up with me with an email, I'd be delighted to give you their contact information, and they can talk with you about what they're doing. This fall semester, I know that a lot of their activities are virtual, um, but they are certainly uh, on top of that. And it's, gosh, it's, it's 7.59, so I, I can't believe this. It's perfect, because we're out of questions. And I just wanted to make sure that everybody saw in the chat that we will be sending out a recording of this along with the application fee waiver code. And I will let Amy wrap it up now. Thank you, Amy. Fantastic, Macy. Thank you so much. Thanks to all of you for attending. It's been a wonderful hour. Um, we hope you learned a lot about the Flex MBA program, and we look forward to receiving your application for spring 2021 by November 1. Go Tribe! <laughs>